consumer product means anything which the consumer wants to buy and he gets satisfaction what is that he gets anybody who uses the product now the minute is what somebody is purchasing the product that means what he is making mint money thing what the doctor does even that is called as a service the lawyer does it is also called a service you can't see that but you can only feel it it depends on a person who is actually providing them so these are the characteristics of services Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilas Chandra from the Department of Business Studies in Vidyashram Pew College the Temple of Excellence Now I'll tell you in this chapter what exactly is the very very important thing now in this session I'm going to teach you the very very important topic that is called as the product now product are broadly classified into two one is the consumer product and the other is the industrial product we call that as a industrial product now here we are not talking about the industrial product whatever we have it is all the consumer product so be very clear in what i am telling you you need to take a sheet and you are supposed to write down the points whatever i'll be covering and the first thing is in consumer product we have two types that is durability on the basis of durability and the one more is on the basis of how will you go with shopping effort that is shopping efforts involved that is what shopping efforts involved so there are two points one is on the basis of durability and one more is shopping efforts which is involved now here if you understand i'll tell you what it is the shopping effort involved we have three criteria one is the convenience product the next is shopping product and the last one is the specialty product and if you see here you understand the concept here it is on the basis of durability you have three of the branches in durability the first one is non durable that means what will happen here i'll tell you use in throw are the products which are the best example of non durable that is you have one utility or you have few utilities like your kurkure packet now when you go with it it is what non durable because it will go within a day or two or a week so that is what non durable the next one is durability now you have more value on this the more time you spend on the, these kind of a product and the last one is services whatever you go students goods with services only then the customer will come and buy your product here if we go with it convenience product and shopping product and the specialty product you will understand what will happen in these things are what is the convenience of the customer and the customer will immediately go and heal by the product that is what we call it as convenience product and the next one here is shopping product in shopping product what happens is they'll think what is that product we need to buy they will actually compare the competitor the compare the pricing compare the quality and everything that is what shopping product is and the last one is specialty product where you will actually be a brand holic you'll only go with that kind of a brand because of the feature because of so many other kind of a characteristics which is there in the product so a quick recall what exactly we have we have something called consumer product what is a consumer product means consumer product means anything which the consumer wants to buy and he gets satisfaction what is that he gets he gets satisfaction and only because of the satisfaction we classify product into two one is the consumer product that is what the consumer will actually buy and the next one is your industrial product the later we'll go with two more things that is consumer products are broadly classified into two things one is on the basis of durability on the basis of durability here on the basis of durability we have three that is first one is non durable there is no durability at all one more is durable you will have certain time so that you will use the product like life it's not life long see everything has a date only if you go with a proper usage of the goods or the services only then the goods will be there properly or else it will perish very very fast 
The last one is services. For anything, whatever it is, goods should be always given what? Services. If a good service is given, customers will definitely come and buy the product. For non-durable, I'll give you the examples like washing powder, toothpaste, all these are what? Non-durable. For durable, it's the refrigerator, television, radio, mobile phone, everything is what? Durable. And for both the things, what is it? The service is needed. More for durability, the service is needed. The next one here to my left that is shopping efforts that is involved what convenience product convenience product means product which are brought immediately product which are frequently purchased immediately purchased and the product which are not costly now the product the price will be what the price will be less so that's why you will frequently buy it Example again toothbrush, toothpaste, everything is what is convenience product. The next thing here is shopping product. Now the shopping product means what you will always have comparison saying that what is the product? The product will be very costly and it is not like frequently you will purchase, you will buy it occasionally, rarely, sometime once in a year. That is what you will go with shopping products. The next thing here is specialty product where you will talk more about the brand loyalty because of a unique feature which is there in that particular brand itself. We call it as specialty product. So let's move on with the first thing that is called durability of product. Now what is that you need to do is you need to imagine and you need to actually research properly in your own house what are the product which are durable what are the product which are daily used right durability of products what are exactly all the products are there in your house you are supposed to classify them whether it is durable or non-durable the first thing on the basis of their durability the consumer products have been classified into three categories one is durable non-durable and services see durable and non-durable what happens is it's all about goods okay and here what we have is service right services now understand what is business buying and selling of goods and services what is it business means what buying and selling of goods and services for the main motive is to earn what profit for anything here understand profit is something which will actually cal be calculated whether it is minimum or it is maximum understand this the more the product is frequently purchased by the consumer definitely the profitability of the company will actually go high but if the consumption of the product is less what happens is it will actually result in a downfall but what is the downfall why is the downfall there because there is no service one of the crit criteria or the product quality is not good or the promotion did not happen properly or the trend of the customer change now these are all the effects which happens and so that the product will come down so what is that you should do you should always give services you should always manufacture product which is in trend you should always give quality product to the people then you are supposed to do proper promotion to the product so these are the things which you are supposed to do the next one here is non-durable product the first criteria in the durable product is what non-durable product what is this non-durable product i told you to list out whichever product what is the criteria i'll tell you whichever product right whichever product immediately you use what is that you do immediately you are using it and they have one or few one or few uses that those product we classify them as non-durable product so what is it product which is immediately used and they have one or few uses we call that as non-durable product example toothbrush let's take an example of toothbrush one use you already know what exactly the toothbrush does 
the few other views what exactly it is your mom will actually keep that toothpaste the old toothpaste and she will actually use it to clean any of the sink or clean the chain gold chain or the bangles or whatever what is that your dad will do he will take the toothbrush and he'll use it for the dyeing his hair now one more is what you will actually use the toothbrush so that you can actually clean your cycle spokes or your bike uh, wheels all those things you will go what is it it is non durable that means the tenure the time is less than the time is less than right less than please understand this three years less than three years the maximum is what less than three years this is the maximum i'm telling you minimum can be even one minute or 30 seconds that we call it as non durable so understand the consumer products which are the consumer product which are see they are giving you a things which are normally consumed in one or few users one or few users what did i tell you about this one or few users they are called as non durable product they are called as what non durable product the next one for the example we purchase product like toothpaste now what is the use of the toothpaste you all know that what is the other use of toothpaste also you know because you people are doing it practicing it in your house so these are called non durable thing what is that homework for you people is you are supposed to classify whatever like 10 non durable items in your house and 10 durable items in your house and what are the services you get that is also you are supposed to write it down so detergents bathing soap and stationary product etc all these things are what non durable products now you need to understand Sir, which is a product which will actually give more profitability to the company? Understand, they are frequently used. That means every day they are actually used, right? Frequently, every time they actually are used. What happens is the company has two kind of a thing. One is profit maximization and wealth maximization. Through non-durable, they will generate profit maximization. Through durable, they will generate wealth maximization. I'll tell you how. See, there are few companies which you feel that the cost price or the selling price is 1 rupee or 2 rupees. But if you understand, those companies are gigantic. The reason is what? Every customer in the entire world are using those brand of those company so what it is that means every day he is making profit see every product will have a profit margin and the seller or the manufacturer whoever is manufacturing and selling the product they'll always go with the profit if anybody who uses the product now the minute is what somebody is purchasing the product that means what he is making mint money so that is what it is example i'll tell you hajmula now hajmula is for one rupee okay and what type of product it is whether it is durable or non-durable it is non-durable though it is one rupee to make a hajmula probably when i went with more of research about it 30 paisa to 40 paisa will happen for one packet now understand the 60 paisa is what it's a profit now how many people have used how many times you have consumed the product now understand how much money the hajmula people will actually make even if it is one rupee one more durable whenever we go with non-durable the tablets which you people consume even that is what non-durable the syrups which you consume non-durable any kind of beverages any kind of eatables everything is what non-durable that means what that those people are making easy money with those kind of a thing so durable or non-durable whatever it is the more people are buying it what happens it is a profit to the company and here what happens is people should always buy the product so the competition is too much in durability competition is too much in what non-durability than durability the reason is why because see understand in your house automatically what happens is your parents in the sense your dad will go he'll buy the grocery to your house what is that he'll do he'll buy from the same person same kind of a thing and he'll come after your dad what happens now you are going to the market 
again what happens you will follow the footstep of your dad you will go to the same place same product same kind of a thing you will actually come and buy now what is it you become a brand or the loyal customer to that particular company so these things will happen in the non durability products the next one here is durability products that is durable product now what are the durable products now i have given you pictures here now these are the durable products that means their uses too much and what is it you will actually keep it for more than 3 years or 4 years or 5 years there are many people who feel that no i'll not keep any of the fridge for more than 1 year but still i'll tell you this is also durable it is not non durable it is what durable that is it will be for so many years in your house so what is this durable those tangible na see it is not about services see services is intangible services you can't touch you can only feel it services are what intangible and we are talking about goods that's why it is we call it as tangible tangible means what anything which you can touch you can feel you can see that is called as tangible now those tangible consumer products which normally survive survive and they have what they serve many uses what is that they do those tangible consumer product which normally serve many uses for example refrigerator radio bicycle saving machine etc or whatever you can actually go with where you will go with more than 3 years you understand here product okay and their uses are what uses are many that means too many uses of the product and the time is what it is more than 3 years those product we call that as durable product now fridge tv your car your scooter all these are durable products you got it hope you are understanding all these things now what are the purpose of this understand the purpose of this non durable are not costly frequently it is purchased but durable are slight costlier than the non durable so here what happens is you are supposed to spend your time and effort that is what is that you need to buy from where you are supposed to buy and what exactly you do is you compare what do you do you compare and when you compare what happens is you always go with the proper feature that is whether this product is worth buying or not right that is what you will actually compare here what happens in durability in the sense there are so many companies with same kind of a coat of prices but the brand is totally different the use is totally different the model is totally different the design is totally different but what is the ultimate consumer wants the consumer wants to solve his purpose so what is the purpose of buying a durability is what to resolve whatever he wants to get it done so what happens is he'll calculate the value of money as well as he's calculate the value of the product here what happens he will spend time and then he will go to many places he'll get to know what is the best and then only he'll go with it but here you need to understand durable products should have something called services what is that they should have something called services that's why services and durable products are not separate they it cannot be separated as the same when you go and buy a refrigerator and the company will tell we will not give services will you go and buy any refrigerator there understand the concept here if you go and buy any of the television or microwave or any kind of a thing and the company says that we don't have services right now will you go and buy the product definitely no so but understand for toothpaste and toothbrush there is no services no issues you know what exactly it is you got convinced about the product you have purchased the product now tell me how many of you have called the service center of toothpaste or toothbrush and saying that the toothbrush is not working properly definitely no that means for non durable what happens is services are not there the way it is there in the durable because durable is costly as well as the people need to know how exactly to be used so services should be given properly here but students you need to also understand that non durable is very easy for any of the buying or selling but when it comes to 
the durable now what happens is the competition is cutthroat in the sense customer wants to come and buy the product but too many competitors when too many competitors what happens is now you are supposed to give offers you are supposed to give discount you are supposed to convince the customer now what is happening now see nobody is convincing the people that is non durable people but here durable people here what happens is you need to convince the people now i'll tell you even in non durable the company is convincing the customers because it's a cutthroat competition 500 grams in that 100 grams free in a toothpaste or in any other kind of a thing now what is it that attracting the customer but here what happens is now they'll tell for one refrigerator if you buy if it is say 50000 rupees then one year service is free now these all the concept will happen in the durability if you take a television you will get a uh, say you will get a mat free you will get a screen uh, cleaning wiper that is free now all these things are what it happens in the durable because it is not just for one year or two year it is for little more years it's not like lifetime but definitely more than 3 to 4 years the next one is services what is the services means by services we mean that those activity which benefit or satisfaction please understand this which benefit so what is it which benefits or it satisfaction is there or satisfaction is there which are offered for sale example dry cleaning see now you cannot have the washing machine but somebody is giving you a service right what is it dry cleaning it is a service the next thing is watch repair see watch is a durable product washing machine is a durable product now what is that they are doing they are giving services watch repairing hair cutting hair cutting is also a service hair cutting is also a service postal service offer whatever it is the thing what the doctor does even that is called as a service the lawyer does it is also called a service you can't see that but you can only feel it that is called services now services are very very important why services are important we were just talking about the goods that is tangible now we are supposed to talk about services also a lecturer giving you a lecture even that is a service what is it the lecturer giving a lecture in a class even that is a service understand here if you understand the product where it is divided into two things one is the consumer product another is the industrial product and we are talking about the consumer product where we have two things one is the durability product another is the shopping effort product now in durability basis what happens is there are three things one is durable non durable services for everything services is a must see everywhere the back end support should be there manufacturer will only manufacture if he will not think about the services now he is gone case he is out of the market so what happens is he always have a background that is the he'll outsource or he'll have in house people where the service providers are already there always there in any of the product if you see in the labeling what happens is they'll give our support system our support service is so and so so and so you can actually call back you can actually mail us you can give your feedback what is that why is that they need they need the services to be given to the consumer so that the consumer is satisfied why is that consumer they give the services so that the consumer are satisfied as well as they are benefited so that is what happens in the services so we'll see what exactly happens in services we'll go with the next topic called characteristics of services what is it characteristics of services the first characteristics of service see you cannot see that you can only feel it so what is it services are intangible services are what they are intangible the next thing is services is inseparable that means you cannot separate you cannot separate the services you cannot bifurcate product is there services should be there if product is there and services are not there people will not come and buy the product i'll give you an example here if i want to opt for a ups 
right inverter battery and the machine now i need to actually ask you now i don't know because the first time i'm buying an inverter now it is what non durable or durable it is a durable product when it is a durable product now that means what i need to do a proper research because money is involved my value of money is there so i need to get a proper value of product now i'll ask you people that what is which is the ups which i need to actually buy now you will tell me three to four things but in that i'll pick one of that in that one now i'll ask many people how many of you are using that kind of a brand now many will tell sir the service is really bad please don't use it now i'll tell you what happens is directly or indirectly it is affected directly or indirectly that company is affected because of mouth to mouth words what happens is if the service was given properly they need, they don't need to do any promotion we'll only go and we'll buy the product because the customers who are using the product are the real people who give the proper feedback about the product so services are what a service is inseparable from its source you cannot separate service with the product the services cannot be stored it cannot be so definitely yes because it is intangible we cannot store the services they are highly perishable see once the thing is done it is done so it is highly perishable services are highly variable please understand a thing services are always what it is very variable it is not constant it is not same it is variable has their type and quality depends on the what is that they depends on they depends on the person providing them yes very very true see understand even services when i tell even the waiter in the hotel he is giving you a service if you go to a three star hotel or a five star hotel what happens is person to person service differs one may actually come he may give you a proper service and he can actually make you feel very very good comfortable the ambience and all those things you will feel very very relaxed now what happened the other person the same day the next day if you go the other person is there and he is kind of a weirdo now what happens is you are not getting that's why i'll tell you what it is it is highly variable it depends on person to person that's why it can go down it can go up it can come down it can go up it is what highly variable because it is what type of quality depends on the person who is providing them understand in a hill in a hilly area right there are many advertisement also in a hilly area a uh, small kid she wants to see a movie or she wants to see a competition now what happens is she'll give a call and which is a person who is providing the goods he should also provide the services now if everywhere the service is there what happens is many people will buy it now example i'll tell you now if you see the airtel or odafone idea or if you go with jio what is that they talk about they talk more about services please use any kind of a telecommunication but just understand the services in villages what happens is the network issue is more nowadays even in city the network issues are more the reason is because of the tower now users are more towers are less there were days when towers was more and users were less now what is it the airtel or vodafone or jio what happens is they only talk about services the more the services are there right the more the services are there those kind of a product we usually actually use these are the things about services so today what is that we learned we learned about the durability basis there are three one is non durable another is durable and the last one is services in that we learned about what exactly is non durable non durable means within 3 years it is all gone or immediately after 30 seconds it is gone durable means what will actually keep it and the users are more and the next one is services and we also got to know what are the characteristics of services the characteristics of services is it is intangible it is inseparable you cannot separate the product and the service at all and then it is highly perishable and the last one is what it depends on a person who is actually providing them so these are the characteristics of services thank you students if you don't know what exactly the things are in the services department and in the goods department what is that you should do is you need to research what are services and the goods are which you people will buy and you will consume it 
and without knowing a proper service or the goods please don't buy any product this is only for you to understand what exactly the real concept of business is thank you so much i'll see you when i see you